Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. Several years ago, Glenn Campbell cut a hit record that is entitled Gentle on My Mind. Being a country western piece, it tells a story. It's the story of a man who doesn't want to be hassled with uh, permanent commitments. He wants his life uncluttered of long-time contracts, and he talks about that sofa in the living room just being a place where he could stash his, his backpack for a night or two. That, that's really all he wanted. That's the kind of life he wants. Perhaps it made the hit parade because it represented the world of so many people who dream a lot but are not able to act quite that bold and courageous bold and courageous according to their standard. That song sort of washed around my mind as I was working my way through a book entitled Blue Highways. William Least Heat Moon, an Indian by blood, decided after he lost his job at a college in the innards of Missouri that he would strike out in his Ford van and know what the other world was like. His wife had recently left him, and he decided there had to be a better way and a better world out there, and so he took off following the blue lines on the map, the blue highways. The better maps have the big highways in gold and in bold red, but the blue roads are the roads that interested Moon. He wanted to go places like Dime Box, Texas, and Scratch Ankle, Alabama, remote Oregon, Simplicity, Virginia, nameless Tennessee. Must have been a wonderful spot when he got there. Why not Mississippi? I go California, located just down the road from Oh No, California. (laughs) And hundreds of other little holes in the road where he would travel, ultimately the circumference of about halfway around the world as he went across and around the cycle of America. He wanted to do that same sort of thing. By his own admission, he left, quote, an age that carries with it its own madness and futility, and he set out to the open road in search of places where change didn't mean ruin and where time and men and deeds connect. Whether it's a song you like to sing or a a book you like to read, whether the, the back roads are in your memory or in front of your windshield, chances are good that, that there are dreams you've not, let, not yet lived. And you think that somehow if you could separate yourself from the, from the concrete of responsibilities and if you could unshackle yourself from the clutter of demands, you could strike out as well. and You could find hopefully some sense of purpose and, and direction. I think it would be somewhere between surprising and scandalous if we could lower the screen and play your dream in front of everybody else so that we could all see what you think about when nobody's looking and when nobody knows. If only I could live out my dreams. We've all thought that. King Solomon lived out his dreams. He enjoyed every pleasure the world had to offer. And it all came up short. The world had lost its luster. Solomon concluded that compared to a life with God, it was all empty. Nothing. A chasing after the wind. He discovered that living a life devoted only to pleasure is a meaningless and vain existence. The only cure for the disease of vanity is a consistent walk of faith in and obedience to the living God. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. 
preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, Journal of a Desperate Journey, was copyrighted in 1983, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.